Yo guys, what's up? How are you today? Welcome to my new video. This time I would like to talk about Avenger multi samples, how they work, how you can create your own ones and yeah, all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get to work and let me start with an example of a drum kit multi sample. But before we get further, let me give you a little disclaimer. So in a real world scenario you shouldn't use um, drum kit as a multi samples. I'm doing that just because it will be easier for me to explain you how multi samples work. So yeah, here we got these three drum samples and here I got Avenger with a loaded multi sample of this, these drums. So let's first listen to these drums. Here's a clap, here's a kick and snare. And as I said before, I've already loaded these drums as a multi sample to Avenger. Here's how they sound. So, yeah, these are basically the same sounds. And as you probably noticed, under C we got clap, under D we got kick and under C we got snare. And now you may ask why these drums are assigned to these three specific notes. And to answer this question we need to take a closer look at the samples names. So here we got our three samples and maybe you've noticed that file names are ended with the underscore followed by note name. So we got clap underscore c2, kick underscore d2 and snare underscore underscore sorry e2. And as you may notice this ending of the file names are actually complementary to the notes that are triggering these samples. So we got clap c2, that's why C2 note is triggering clap. We got kick D2, so D2 note is triggering kick. And we got snare E2, which is causing that E2 note is triggering snare. Okay, now you may be wondering what about the keys that haven't been assigned to any samples. Well, they will be playing back samples assigned to the closest notes, but stretched and transposed. So when we click any of these notes that are below C2, we should get clap, but transposed down since we are going down in pitch and stretched up. So the sample will be longer. Let's try if it's true. So here's our original clap. And as we go lower, As you may hear, the clap is getting lower in pitch and is getting stretched up, it's getting longer. And same story goes for snare. So here's our original snare. And as we go higher, we're getting pitched up and shortened snare. So that stretching effect is one of two factors that you should consider when deciding how many samples per octave you want to have inside your multi-sample. And the second factor is that preparing a samples for multi-sample is quite time consuming. So you don't want to go too high with your samples per octave number, but you also don't want to go too low because when you go too high, you will spend a lot of time preparing your multi sample. But on the other hand, when you go too low, this stretching effect will get really noticeable. So here's multi-sample created with one sample per octave and pay attention how length of each note is changing. So here's C and here's D sharp. Again. So as you probably notice, C is way shorter than D sharp. So that's exactly that stretching effect that we discussed earlier. 
Right, so that was a multi-sample created with one node per octave and now let me show you a multi-sample created with four nodes per octave. So again, let's play C and D sharp. So as you can see, these two notes are pretty much the same length. I mean, I can't differentiate if any of these is longer or shorter. So yeah, I think four notes per octave is the best trade-out. Um, one more thing that I would like to mention is that when you add a loop to your sample, um, just like I did here, let me play it back. So when you're gonna use this kind of looped sample to create a multi-sample, you can see that that loop is fully functional inside Avenger multi-samples. Let me prove it that. So as you can see, this is going in loop, just like I got that loop in my sample. So yeah, loops are fully functional inside Avenger multi-samples. Okay, so let me show you how to create your own Avenger multi-samples. So first thing that we need to do to create our multi-sample is to have a folder with our samples. And one important thing here is that the name of our folder will be the name of our multi-sample. So as you can see here I got my samples, um, three octaves of samples sampled with four notes per octave I believe, yes. And don't forget to name your samples properly, so don't forget about the underscores and note names. Okay, now go to the Avenger. And just like with any other custom content for Avenger, we need to have a custom expansion to save it. So I'm gonna create now a custom expansion. So I'm gonna click anywhere here with the right click. Now click create new customer expansion. Type here uh, our expansion name. So I'm gonna call it a multi sample expansion. Hit enter to confirm. Now go to file stop and find the folder with our samples. So my folder is Avenger multi samples tutorial. Now right click this folder with your samples, hover this convert multi sample, scroll to our expansion that we just created and click root. And now when you're gonna go to the sound sources library, go to samples, find your expansion and here you can see that our multi sample is created. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy it, please leave a like, a comment and consider subscribing.